Today's Des Moines Register asks a very valid question. Could Ron Paul win? Could Ron Paul win? When you look at the Rasmussen polling data, the only Republican candidate that is ahead of Obama right now is Mitt Romney. The only one. Santorum and Gingrich and Perry and Bachman and Ron Paul is the worst. Is someone who is not electable is considered a fringe candidate by a majority of the party that doesn't bode well for the future of the Iowa caucuses. He's unacceptable in America. He's a disqualified presidential candidate and not just because of what he's written. Cutting a trillion dollars in one year, getting rid of the Federal Reserve and, and cutting all foreign policy entanglements is, is insanity. And I think it's very difficult to see how you would engage in dealing with Ron Paul as a nominee. Right, so you could not vote for I, Ron I, Paul. He would have to go a long way to explain himself. I think Ron Paul's views are totally outside the mainstream of virtually every decent American. Even if the congressman does do well, he will not be the Republican nominee because his positions on many issues are outlandish. But Ron Paul, with his soft approach to Iran, his gold standard madness and other extreme positions, is not going to be nominated. President Obama would beat Mr. Paul by a colossal margin. Ron Paul has zero chance of getting the nomination. Okay. I called uh, Governor Romney and congratulate him because he certainly had a clear-cut victory, but we're nibbling at his heels. <laughs> <laughs> and the fan, right, and the fan. Yeah. Those are largely kids going more than largely nuts. Over a 76-year-old dude talking about reining in the Fed and pulling back our troops. That's a crowd that usually isn't engaged with or by or anything having to do with Republicans. I sort of have to chuckle when they describe you and me as being dangerous. That's one thing they are telling the truth, because we are dangerous to the status quo of this country. Seventy-six-year-old dude, treated like a rock star. Ron Paul is serious. Look at how much the establishment is scared to death of Ron Paul. Because we're all corrupt, sellout politician. It's about his effect on this endemic corruption. Rick Santorum, he'll keep it going. Rick Perry, Mitt Romney, all those other guys, who cares, they'll keep it going. My first year, what I would do is cut spending at the federal level by $1 trillion. Ron Paul's policy is the most accurate based on what we need to face as a nation going forward. Let's talk about Ron Paul. The Texas congressman is running for the Republican nomination for president. For those who don't know, who is he and why is the mainstream media written him off even though he keeps leading in the polls. Well, Ron Paul is in his 12th term in the House of Representatives. He has never voted for a tax increase. He's, he has pushed to audit and abolish the private Federal Reserve. He has accurately addressed the global banker occupation that you've talked so much about, and he's been absolutely on target. The Patriot Act is literally the destruction of the Fourth Amendment. We need to do a lot less, a lot sooner, not only in Egypt, but around the world. What Ron Paul does have is, is authenticity. He is real. He's just genuine. I think he's honest. He has his convictions. Who put the Federal Reserve on the national agenda? So he had the courage of his convictions back there. And I think Ben Bernanke is someone who knows who Ron Paul is. Why does a former career intelligence officer endorse Ron Paul for president in 2012? Because he understands the very simple fact, Judge, that every action has a reaction. And he knows that the problem we're having in the Islamic world is based primarily on the fact that both parties, without exception, are interventionist. They want to get involved in everybody else's problems. Mrs. Clinton is more of a warmonger than George W. Bush. The time they talk about Ron Paul is in a negative light. Listen to what fat boy Gingrich said about people like myself that support Ron Paul. No decent American would support his policy. Tell me I'm not a decent American, neuter. We can have it out man to man. Only the lunatic fringe supports Ron Paul. Let that little weenie come and call me a lunatic. Who are these people? His philosophies are consistent. They do not waver based on political polls or public opinion. His principles 
are based in fact and logic, which is routed and rooted in the very foundation of America. It's my great honor tonight to present to you Dr. Ron Paul.